How much vitamin D do people with Hashimoto's need? Well, vitamin D is essential for Hashimoto's because it is an immune balancer, which means that it helps your immune system to recognize that the thyroid is your friend and to stop the attack on the thyroid, which is very important. Now, as the days get shorter, the amount of vitamin D we get from the sun becomes way less. And by the way, this is not just if you live in a Northern hemisphere. This is also if you're by the equator in Florida and other places like that. I see deficiency in vitamin D in the fall and winter months in almost everyone. Now, lab ranges for vitamin D are 30 to 100. However, if you're 30 or 31, that is nowhere near optimal. There's a lot of data that shows that optimal ranges are 50 to 100, especially if you have Hashimoto's or autoimmunity. And so what I find in my practice doing this for many years, there's hardly anyone who is in that 50 to 80 optimal range if they do not supplement in the fall and winter. I personally take Thyrolove, which gives me 2000, and then I take a little bit extra in the fall and winter. So you wanna test your level and see where you are. And if you are below 50, which likely you are if you're not supplementing, then you wanna make sure that you have a good quality of vitamin D and that vitamin D also comes with vitamin K. Those two have to go together in order to prevent calcification. And that is a great way to get your vitamin D up and help your immune system and help Hashimoto's as well.